I'm uh, Edmund Bosnagen using SolarX sunscreen. Hi, this is the SolarX training video. Welcome to the SolarX tribe. It's really great to have you with me and I appreciate your time. And I'm looking forward to you spending the next 10 to 15 minutes with me learning more about this amazing premium brand, its ingredients, what it stands for, and what makes SolarX the ultimate performance sunscreen. By way of introduction, my name is Kirsty Horn, and I am the sole distributor of SolarX here in Africa. So let's go back to the beginning. Where did SolarX come from? The creator of SolarX was an Ironman athlete, and what he found was that when he would go in for a swim and then come out to go on to the ride and the cycle, that's when he would really get burned to a crisp. He couldn't find a product that could sustain the endurance of the, of the full race. So he went on to develop a sunscreen that could do just that. In 2012, SolarX developed what's known as the water resistance system and they found that it was so superior to anything else that was on the market, they patented the name Waterblock, which is the secret ingredient in our formula. So confident in the product, the creator then went on to get the FDA, the Federal Drug Administration, and the AMA, the American Medical Association, to put the product to the ultimate test, an eight hour immersion test. In the water, out the water, testing for eight hours and see just how long this product could last. This is now known as the six hour immersion test and it's a standard across the world. The product is sold all over the world and why? Because of these results. The results show that SolarX is 100% effective after eight hours of exposure in and out of the water. What does that mean? In and out the water for an hour, test the product. In and out the water for an hour, test the product on the skin. In and out of the water, test the product for eight hours. And after eight hours, SolarX maintains 97% of its strength. That means, in a nutshell, that you have eight hours of protection at an SPF 50 when you're wearing SolarX. It's not only important what's in the product, but what isn't in the product. Sunscreens have been given a bad rap over years and there's good reason for that. Like any product you buy, it's about the quality of the ingredients and what's actually in the ingredient list. So our products have no petroleum or mineral oils. Oils actually dry out your skin and cause eczema. They're water-based, that means they're non-greasy, they dry clear and they won't clog your pores, nor will they interfere with any equipment that you're using as a sportsman or sportswoman. No perfumes, they're unscented. That means two things. One, you won't smell like a bottle of coconut oil, but two, they're non-irritating to the skin. Your skin is an organ that absorbs whatever you put onto it and whatever goes through your skin goes into your bloodstream. So point number four, nanoparticle free. Why is that important? Well, nanoparticles can be absorbed by the skin into the bloodstream and disrupt hormones. One of a few things they can do. Titanium free, exactly the same thing. Titanium can be absorbed by the skin and interrupt hormones. And finally, parabens free. Paraben free is another word for that. Our products are 100% free of parabens, which are preservatives. This is used to prolong shelf life. And those preservatives are often what causes skin irritation, a tiny rash of red dots, or perhaps in children, when their eyes scream whenever they put sunscreen on. We are very passionate about a few things and one of the things we're passionate about is being environmentally and ethically sound in the product that we use. All of our products are oxybenzone free. Oxybenzone is a buzzword in the industry. It's been found in a lot of sunscreens to bleach reefs. That's what actually kills our coral and turns them white. So no oxybenzone in any of our products. All of our tubes are recyclable as well as our cans. Our products are not tested on animals and our products are kind to humans. They don't sweat into your eyes and cause your eyes to burn, which is a characteristic of many sunscreens and a complaint of many sports people. Our aerosol cans are making use of a unique technology called Bag on Vault. Now this is found to be a far better um, environmentally sound spray solution. Ordinarily what happens is in an aerosol, um, the, the propellant and the ingredient or the, or the products are mixed and when you spray that releases uh, volatile organic compounds called VOCs, they go up and they destroy the ozone layer. 
But what happens with this particular packaging is that the propellants and the sunscreen are actually packaged separately. So this means that once the product is released into the atmosphere, the propellant is not released at the same time. So less environmental damage. How does that work? You can see picture number one, step number one, the bag is welded onto the aerosol valve and then it is pushed into this can, which is made of aluminium. Step two, the product is then put into that bag and then around the product, the propellant, which is air, is filled into the space between the can and the bag. So when you, as the consumer, press the nozzle, the product comes out in a fine mist spray. Because we have a dry spray, there's no reason to rub that in. And because there is no product wastage, the entire bag gets used up. And also because of the bag on bulk technology, the product can be sprayed upside down, which is a real bonus when you're trying to put sunscreen onto the back of your legs or when you're trying to spray it on regular children. So that's environmentally sound and it's called bag on valve technology. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be responsible if we didn't educate our consumers on the reality of skin cancer. In South Africa and certainly in Africa, we have surpassed Australia as having the highest rate of melanomas in the world because of the strong exposure we have to our sun. And our clients need to be educated on a couple of myths that have been spread about sunscreen. Sunscreen is something, as I mentioned earlier, which should be a way of life, something that you use every day, regardless of what the weather is, because one sunburn increases your risk of skin cancer by 50%. You most certainly can get sunburned on a cloudy day. 80% of the sun's rays penetrate mist and fog. Snow and water affect a further 8% of the sun's radiation onto your face and your body. And most sun damage occurs before the age of 18. So protecting your skin before 18 years old, taking care of our children's skin, can reduce sun skin cancer by up to 78%. We often find that, again, with sun education, people are never really sure what to be looking for in terms of skin cancer. Those top four pictures show clients of ours who have fallen victim to skin cancer, who have been sunscreen users or who have, at a younger age, used some kind of sunscreen but also suffered sunburn. So the first picture is actually myself. I remember getting burned a couple of times as a child and I've had sub-cancerous cells removed from my nose three times. The next picture is a client with a melanoma, which is developed on her nose. The third client, because the skin on your face is so thin, when a tiny mole is discovered that has to be removed, it's almost Frankenstein-style surgery that has to take place because so much skin has to be flapped up and, and, and cut away to remove the melanoma, leaving big gaping holes in your face. And the fourth is a client who had a tiny mole under his eye and you can see the big hole that had to be removed to get rid of it. So always good to remember um, it's important that we all are in the fight against skin cancer and Solarex wants to be in the fight against skin cancer. We want people to be protected so we can eradicate skin cancer as much as possible. And this we do using the ABCs. Whenever you come across a mole or something on your skin, just apply the ABCs. Is it A for asymmetrical? B, are the borders even? C, what is the color? Is there more than one color? D, is it larger in diameter than 6.35 millimeters? That's not really big. And E, what is the evolution of the mole? Has it changed? How has it changed? That's a way that you can keep track of what's actually going on with your skin, the only skin that you have. We often get asked what SPF is. So SPF is basically the application of sunscreen that you apply to your skin to protect your skin. The way to work out how effective an SPF is, is to work on the basis of how long does it take for your skin to burn in the sun. So five minutes, usually that's what it takes. If you apply a sunscreen with an SPF of 20, it's five times 20, which will protect your skin for 100 minutes. All our products are an SPF 50, so 50 times the five minutes means you have 250 minutes of protection, which is just over four hours. But as we've told you in our previous testing, our product has endured for eight hours at an SPF of 50. So it's not how high you make it, it's how long you make it high. 
you can apply an SPF 50, but if it sweats off in the first half hour, or if it washes off the minute you've gone in to do a swim, then your protection is halved. And the next sweat, it's halved again. So you may actually have an SPF of 20 or an SPF of 10 after 45 minutes of being exposed to the sun. Brings us back to our unique water block. What is this unique water block? What is this unique formula? Why does this product work? One of the things we have is a unique cold mix. Generally, the way sunscreens are made, because they control, contain oils, or wet ingredients which contain the oils, are heated up, and then they're mixed with the dry ingredients so that they can form an emulsion and form lotion. That's why when you leave sunscreens in your car, they separate. You open the lid after a while if it's been exposed to the sun and just oil pours up. Well, that doesn't happen with Solarex. Solarex is a cold mix. So our ingredients mix, they bond, and they never separate again. The second component is that the, the water block actually bonds to the skin. So the minute you put the product onto your skin, it actually bonds. And that is what allows our sunscreen to have this ultimate endurance. And it goes on and it stays on, waterproof and sweatproof. The product actually has to be washed off with soap and water, which shouldn't be a problem, right? I mean, everyone should be washing off with soap and water, but that's how good the application is and that's how good it is in terms of an endurance product. There are two types of sunscreen. You get a physical and a chemical. In our product range, our zinc is our physical sunscreen. What does that mean? Well, if you think back to the cricket days when the guys used to put that layer of zinc under their eyes, that's what zinc is. It sits on top of the skin. And if you imagine standing with tinfoil under your face and how the sun would bounce off that, zinc actually reflects and blocks the UVA rays. So it works as a sun block. And immediately when you apply it, you can go out and be exposed to the sun. It dries matte and clear, definitely not like the old cricket days with those straps across your face, so it's suitable for any color skin. On the other side, we have our chemical sunscreens. Now, chemical is just a word for the application. It doesn't mean they contain more chemicals. But a chemical sunscreen actually is absorbed into the skin. That's why we say these products need to be applied 20 minutes before. You can't apply it and walk straight out in the sun. You have to apply it for 20 minutes and let it sink in. Once it's absorbed into the skin, it then converts the UVA and UVB rays um, into heat, which is then released by the skin. These products too dry, matte and clear, and they have the same eight hour endurance. They're just two different applications. So these chemical sunscreens are sunscreens and the physical sunscreens are sun blocks. That's the main difference. So let's have a look at those products in a little bit more detail. So I mentioned about the zinc. This is the zinc, 100 ml. And when you apply it, I did mention earlier about the cricket. So you can see when it goes on, it does have that whiteness to it. But the minute I rub it in, if you give it about 30 seconds, less than that, you'll see that it's completely absorbed into the skin. There is no residue, there is absolutely no uh, whiteness left from my skin. And on a darker skin, there's no gray undertone. So this product is fantastic for the face. I mentioned earlier in terms of um, skin cancer, it's largely targeted at the thinner areas of your skin. So tops of the hands, the face, the ears, the neck, the chest, the tops of the feet, all the places that are exposed to the sun where you don't want sun at all, you're gonna use a sun block. So the other important thing about this product, I'm wearing it currently under a full set of makeup. It dries clear and matte, so for ladies, great as a moisturizer. For men, also because it contains a moisturizer with no fragrance, it's easy to apply in the morning before you actually step out and you've got that eight hour all day protection on your face, which is vital. Then we move on to our Solar X SPF 50 lotion. So the same as with the zinc, once it's applied to the skin, it's really easy to rub in. This is great for your body, uh, legs, anywhere else. It's also possible to use this on the face without an issue at all. Uh, it's just then a sunscreen and not a sun block, but also dries matte and dries clear and goes on really smoothly with absolutely no fragrance to it. So that's the lotion, which acts as a sunscreen. So useful for the body, can be used on the face, absolutely, but um, the preference I would always recommend, zinc for the face and lotion for the body. And if someone isn't a particular fan of lotion, then that's where we have our aerosol. 
uh, golfers, fishermen, kids, anyone really who's not a fan of lotion uh, may make use of the spray. Again, just to remind you, it goes upside down, it dries clear, and this is perfect for any skin type, um, and it offers broad spectrum protection as all of our sunscreens do. And then finally, we move on to our lip ices. Now, our lip ices contain, again, no oils. The thing about it not containing oils is that they will not dry out your skin. Often you find with lip ice, when you apply it, it actually dries out your lips and doesn't work very effectively. Plus, lips get very chapped, starting to seize or long endurance races or when people are traveling or going in the snow, your lips are the things that suffer the most. So this is actually a, an SPF 30 and it is a concentrated sunscreen. It has a slight uh, vanilla flavor to it but nothing that's too potent that you can actually taste or smell. And it dries clear, but it's a concentrated SPF 30. How do we know it doesn't have any oils? Well, the fact that it's oil free means that when it's in your car, it actually doesn't melt. So most other lip ices, when you put them in your car, they dissolve into nothing. But this is a concentrated SPF 30 sunscreen. So happy to say to you that I will offer a money back guarantee to a client. If you have a client who has the correct application, they put the product on as they're supposed to, and they use the product as they're supposed to, and they are not happy, I will refund them their money. We don't want unhappy customers. We haven't had it. Um, I can probably count on one hand the number of complaints I've ever received or returns of products. Um, we really do have that strong following, but we're passionate about sun protection. We're passionate about having happy clients. And, um, and on that note, just the last thing is, you will notice, and this is in our website and on our testing, although we make claims and we have proof of our eight hour immersion testing, um, we are by regulation required to claim 80 minutes. That's all we're allowed to claim on our products. And we don't advocate that anyone actually sits in the sun for eight hours without protection. But it does, the point is that if they are in an endurance race or if they are doing something where you can't reapply sunscreen, as in you cannot reapply sunscreen to sweat or you cannot re reapply sunscreen if you wet, then this is the product that will certainly stick with you and endure with you through the race right till the end. Hi, I'm Nick Dougal, I write for Team Dimension Data and I use SolarX sunscreen. I think the fact that it doesn't run into my eyes, I mean, I put it on my face, it's the only sunscreen I put on my face because it doesn't, doesn't run into my eyes, you know, when you're sweating on a bike. When I've used the sunscreen, no, it's never got burned. Sunscreen is important as a rider for anyone who spends a lot of time outside because sunburn can really affect your recovery process. It can dehydrate you, um, raise your core temperature throughout the day and slow down your recovery. Um, also, sunburn really hurts. I'm Ben King, I ride for Team Dimension Data and I wear SolarX sunscreen. Our Worldwide Ambassadors, just taking a couple of ambassadors. Um, we are a worldwide product, manufactured in Texas, sold all over Europe and all over the world. And there are a couple of ambassadors to give you an idea of the broad spectrum of users of the product. So the NTT Pro Cycling Team, previously known as uh, Dimension Data, and prior to that NT Quebec, we have been sponsoring for 10 years. That's the only product that they'll use. We have testimonies of the testimonies and videos of them using our products, tweeting our products, Instagramming our products, and that information is all available to you to share on social media. Um, they use the zinc on their face and the spray on their body, and they've been through many, many years of the Tour de France and uh, never had heat damage or never had uh, um, sunburn. So that's a real testimony. And then we've got golfers, we've got fishermen, we've got uh, Topol Yudik, who's basically summiting the seven summits on the seven continents, a mountaineer. Um, we've got triathletes, we've got ironmen, we've got kite surfers, we've got stand-up paddlers, um, we've got speed skiers. Uh, anyone and everyone that you can think of who is exposed to the sun uh, makes use of this product and is very happy with this product and, and does tag us um, in various posts. So that's fantastic from a social media perspective. And then we've got testimonies from clients. I can assure you that once a client has used this product, it has a following. They will come back and they will use it again. And if they try and switch to another product, they will they end up getting burnt and they realize that's the, the only product that we need, we need to make use of. In 10 years, just for me personally, 
I have two redhead daughters, I have a son and a husband who do absolutely everything to do with the outdoors, from hockey to water polo, to uh, kite surfing, to supping, to cycling, to endurance races, to road races, um, to hiking. And this is the only product that our family uses and I can, have never found another product to match its performance. I'm really grateful again that you've taken the time to learn more about this product. I'm 100% available to any of your clients or to yourselves. And should you like me to come in store and do this training with your staff, I'm more than happy to do that. So, thank you again for your time and I look forward to a, a long partnership with you as part of our Solar Extra.